Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we're going to create a simple Python script to make all the references in our scene relative to the project. This way if you're uploading the project to someone or to a render cloud, you don't face the issue of missing textures or models. So for this particular project I used Megascan's textures and two different assets for the ground cover. And as you can see in the file dependencies, I don't have them relative to the project. Instead, they are in the models and textures folder in my computer. And you should be able to drag and drop the models and textures to the respective folder in this, in this editor. And it would automatically copy the files from the original location and set the new path in the nodes. With the dollar $job variable. But for some reason is giving me an error for models and I didn't find any solution for it. So I thought it should be easy to write a Python script as I have done something similar in Maya before. So let's open the Python source editor and write the script. Let's import the OS and Odini modules. We will also need the heap and home variables that will output the absolute path of, of each directory. Now using the file references command to get all the dependencies in our scene and I also want to filter the references to only 3D objects and textures there is no need for USD or other type of data as usually it's relative to the project by default. So the file references command outputs the audini.parm object and also the paths in, in disk. We will iterate over the items and get the different parameters that will be useful. As I stated before, we want to replace only 3D models and textures, so we can just use a statement to filter our file types. We can get a lot of information from the Parm object, like the parameter name, the path of the nodes and the node itself. Let's set them as variables that we can use later. Also, we can remove from the equation all the dependencies that already are relative to the project or if with this if statement. But we also have the home variable to take into consideration as it's pointing to the documents folder which is outside of our project structure. Let's deal with that in a minute. Setting a variable to get the file name and extension from the original file path and now we need somehow to organize the assets into different folders. First we can relocate the textures to the text folder in the project. As for the geometries, we can use the geo folder. The problem with setting it only to the geo folder is that I have two different Megascans assets with different variations. And they all share the same naming convention. So if I paste them all inside the geo folder, only one of them will be copied or we will get an error for duplicate file. So to solve this I decided to create a subfolder getting the name from the paths of the node. In order to get rid of the underscores and numbers after the asset name I found a regular expression online that takes care of that as I don't really need a different folder per variation. Now this part deals with the home directory as we need an, a, an absolute path to copy and paste the files. This section deals with the creation of the subfolder in our project for the Megascans assets. And we can now set the full destination path including the file name and extension. Check if the file al already exists. And we can copy the original file to the destination folder using the shuttle module. The only thing left to do is to make the destination path relative to our project and replace the parameters of our nodes with the new path. After running the code, we can now see that the image nodes and files have been replaced with the new files copied to the project folder. 
We can also check the dependencies and all the textures and models are green, meaning that they are relative to the dollar job variable as we intended. Now you can drag the code to a custom shelf and execute it anytime you need it. So yeah, I hope you can take something out of this. This script will be available on Patreon if you guys want to grab it and support the channel. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one.